what's up you guys? It's Katie Bang and I'm coming at you with 10 things that you should know before getting a Mexican black king steak. First off, I want to say thank you for watching and please like and subscribe so that I can keep making more videos and just say that I appreciate you because I really, really do appreciate all of you. Okay, so the number one thing that you need to know is that these guys are terrestrial, which means they spend most of their time on the ground. And they're native to Mexico and Arizona and in grassy desert areas, like semi-grassy, semi-desert. So they need their enclosure to kind of mock that and they won't need a lot of things to climb, but just a lot of hides on the ground. The second thing is that these guys get between three and four feet long, so they're definitely not the biggest snakes ever. And I mean, some were known to get a little bit bigger than that, but you're not gonna deal with anything too huge. And because of that, you're not gonna need too big of a cage either. Some people say that these guys are fine at a 20 gallon, um, but I would say a 30 gallon is just your best bet to stay safe and good with these guys. These guys are carnivores that kill their prey by constricting. So they have a lot of fun with that. I don't, I don't know, that's just how they, that's how they do it. As you obviously know because of the name, they are king snakes and they get the name king snakes because they eat their own species. They are actually very non-picky eaters and will eat other snakes if it comes down to it. These guys are a pretty active breed of snake but are also known to be pretty docile. So they're pretty active, really cool to watch, but great beginner snakes because of how docile they are. They're active during both the day and night, but you'll see them out more during the day because that's when they hunt. They are a dark brown or black color that has almost like a bluish tint to it because of how dark they are. So they are a very popular snake because of their gothic feel. These guys are not venomous and actually they're more prone to pee or poop on you than they are to bite you. These guys, like I said, will eat almost anything. They're not very picky eaters, but their most common choice of pet owners is rodents because of how readily available they are and just how easy they are. Since these guys are native to Arizona and Mexico, those are pretty dry and arid parts of the earth. So they don't need a lot of humidity. I just always have a water bowl in their cage so that they can drink, but you don't have to worry about humidity too much. And like all of their snake friends, they are cold blooded. So you're gonna need to have a heating pad or a heat lamp on one side of the cage and a cool side on the other so that they can regulate their temperature. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much and I hope that this video helped you out in some way or another and I also hope you enjoyed the Mexican Black King Snake, Sully. See you next video!